I always wanted to build a hovercraft, and when I finally got around to doing so, I learned three things you may find useful if you decide to build your own. The first is that hovercraft work best on very flat level surfaces. This slab has a one inch and ten foot slope to the left, and as you can see, because of this, the hovercraft follows a curved path. This isn't too much of a problem if you have a powerful blower that can be steered to compensate for it. But if you're dealing with a push-type hovercraft, it gets to be quite annoying. For convenience, I wanted to use a rechargeable electric blower. The most powerful I could find at the time was a 56-volt Ego. While it works great on smooth surfaces and even carpeting, it wouldn't work on grass. The grass allowed too much of the air to leak out. The blower could not put out enough volume to keep up with the losses. This hovercraft uses the common bubble type skirt made out of 6 mil polyethylene, cut about a foot larger in diameter than the 48 inch diameter of the bed of the hovercraft. I secured the skirt to the bed of the hovercraft by first laying down a line of double-faced indoor-outdoor carpet tape around the outside edge, then brought the skirt up and around, uh, sealed it to the carpet tape, covered that with uh, duct tape, and then uh, stapled it all the way around. I had an idea for an easier skirt that I tried before putting this uh, balloon skirt on. I took a length of 3 inch diameter foam swimming pool noodle, cut uh, one side off flat, and then used uh, Super 77 adhesive spray to glue it all around the bottom base of the hovercraft. The idea is this would create the ring or skirt for the hovercraft to uh, sail on. Unfortunately, this didn't work. It allowed too much air to leak out. It would just barely work on a smooth surface, and even then it was difficult to push. On carpeting and in grass, it was completely uh, worthless. So I went to the bubble skirt, which as you've already seen, worked pretty good. So in conclusion, what I learned from building this hovercraft is first and most important, if I want to use it on grass, I'm going to have to go to a high power gas blower. It's the only thing that puts out enough air and enough pressure to make them work on grass. Second, I need a much more powerful pusher, something that puts out at least one or two pounds of thrust. And finally, that inflexible skirts just don't work. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best of luck building your own hovercraft.